Hello everyone. Welcome to TechSQL. In this session, we are going to uh, learn a very interesting topic uh, that is how to change SQL Server editions uh, for SQL Server 2000. That is uh, how to switch from Enterprise Edition to Standard or from Standard to Enterprise Edition. So let's go through the steps here. Back up all the DBs except TempDB. As you know, TempDB gets recreated every time. So you, you really don't have to back up the TempDB. Uh, make a note of SQL Server version. That is build number, including hot fix, if any, because it's very important uh, to note this as we are going to reinstall the SQL Server with the same version and hot fixes. Make a note of current installation directory. Stop the SQL services, that is MS SQL Server and SQL Server agent. Make a note of SQL Server collation level. Then uh, as per the screenshot, please go to the services and stop MS SQL Server service and the agent service. Make sure you close the SQL Server Service Manager after stopping the services. Because one of the steps here is to uninstall the SQL Server and that time it may cause the problems. Rename MS SQL directory where the system databases resides. Here we have assumed like uh, your installation directory is D colon MS SQL. So you have to rename it to the MS SQL old prior to uninstalling the SQL Server. So you can always refer the directory where your, where your system databases are located and make sure you rename that to uh, MS SQL to MS SQL OLD old, uh, prior to uninstalling the SQL Server. Let's go ahead and uninstall the SQL Server using control panel add remove programs and click on the change remove button and follow the wizard if multiple instances are installed on the server uh, select no to all otherwise select yes to all uh, this is like kind of shared dll where you may get the uh, warning as like uh, as per the screenshot here so make sure you know you are uh, just uninstalling uh, the single instance where you are planning to switch uh, from enterprise to standard or standard to enterprise. Once the reinstall uh, uninstallation is done, you need to reboot the server. Ensure that all SQL binary files are removed from the SQL and MS SQL. Uh, install the preferred SQL Server and the one which you noted earlier, the version uh, number has to be the same. And your intended edition, that is, if you are switching from standard to enterprise, then go ahead and install the enterprise edition with the same version number and the hotfixes. Also make sure uh, your collation settings are the same uh, as they were earlier, because let's say in case the collation settings are different, your SQL Server may not start after uh, the process is complete of switching the editions. So it's very important to note down the collation setting. Apply the appropriate SQL Server service pack and hotfixes to match the SQL Server version and hot fixes, if any, uh, as per the earlier installation you had. Then once installation is done successfully, uh, you can go ahead and stop the SQL Server services and SQL Server agent. 
Now we can rename the new installation directory where the system databases reside from d colon ms equal to d colon ms equal new because once we switch between the editions, we no longer plan to use these new databases which got installed as per this fresh installation. So what we are intending here to use the same old databases which were sitting on the earlier standard edition. And that folder we had renamed from ms equal to ms equal old in our earlier steps. So rename the folder from d colon ms equal back to d colon ms equal. And finally, go ahead and start SQL services, ms SQL server and SQL server agent. And if everything goes good, you should be able to run the SQL server back to normal as it was earlier with the new edition that is enterprise edition and everything should go smoothly check the error log in case if there are any errors and try to fix those and best of luck and uh, there is a note here always test this procedure on a non-production -system, non system prior to executing on production thank you